welcome back to a new video today is the day that i'm packing i am packing because i'm gonna go travel and this has been such a hard decision for me because over the last few weeks i really have felt this kind of not little trap feeling but i used to like travel so much and like you know now we were obviously like in lockdown and I didn't spend this Christmas with my family because uh, we were moving and we went out to Max parents which was completely fine, it was also really really beautiful but that being said I haven't seen my family in over 8 months and I do, I do really 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 miss them and um, they live in the countryside in Holland and the situation there is at the moment so so much better than here in the US it almost seems like here things are getting worse every day and in Europe things have really like slowed down, cooled down. Also modeling jobs are, you know, there are things going on in Europe and I haven't spent time there yet and I really, really miss it. And I've had this like overwhelmed feeling over the last few weeks a lot here. And you guys have maybe like seen this in videos too as well or a little bit. And I feel now this is just going to be a decision I make for myself that I'm gonna spend time in Europe. And the reason why this was so hard for me was because I don't know when I can get back into the country, if I can back, come back to the US. The, literally the rules about foreigners and visas, I'm like on a visa, on a working visa, change every single day. And I do not know how long everything is going to take in this like uncertain time. So I was really nervous about making the decision to really go home because, you know, it could be one month, could be two months, could be four months, could be half a year. I am not really sure and like I can do well with like uncertainty, but this was like, you know, I just got a home here in LA and like this is, it feels like home that I was kind of like a little nervous about it. <laughs> I need to pack and I absolutely hate packing. I always get this kind of like anxiety feeling or something. Maybe it sounds weird. I don't know what it is. It's maybe because I'm a really bad packer. I always bring way too much stuff and then there are always like things missing. But it's also now so hard because I don't know how much I have to pack. Like it might be for just the summer, but it might also be for the upcoming months. So I really don't know what to bring. And honestly, I have so much laundry. Look at this. It is a mess up. I'm gonna start and we will see. Okay, so I have a plan. I'm gonna start here. All the clothes I need to bring, then the shoes, then my electronics, then stuff out of the kitchen because obviously I need to bring a lot of my food and snackies. <laughs> step by step and I'm gonna put a different shirt on because this is all the work for today. Now we're comfy, let's everything oh my god these lamps are ridiculous i got all my shoes here i mean this is not bad for a couple months i don't know if i can make any selections then i have hair all the clothes i have a lot of blazers because it's not that warm um jeans and stuff underwear in here bikinis i'm gonna pack all the bags and here i have sports clothes and here i'm prepping here i have accessories on Yes, you can. Oh, and I'm also going to bring Ize because my mom really wants to, to try it and she wanted to order it, but then she was like, you know what, might be better if you take it with. And I'm also going to add one to my carry on because the oils are also really nice. Also, if you haven't tried this yet, I will link it down below. Um, it's honestly, my skin has been so so amazing over the last few weeks and i've literally only been using this with like spf been a game changer this will be present for my mama so two suitcases not that bad for i don't know how many months now i need to grab my last stuff Ooh, what's in the making here? I'm making a little coconut water matcha. Matcha. Shall we tell them? Yeah, so. What's that behind you? What are we going to tell them? Oh, so 
that we're gonna do a little challenge and start a matcha bread. Yeah. And we love matcha. And we love thing. matcha so much, and I completely understood. You know, when so many of you ask questions like, "What is a good matcha?" Like, it's honestly really hard to find a good matcha. That's true. And we were very specific on what we liked, and we were like, "You know what? Why don't we source it out of Japan and spread the love?" So we did a little trip last year, and we were looking for like a farm to work with. And actually, we emailed a lot of people. It was hard to, it's hard to connect with people, right? Yeah. And finally, it just it all was all Japanese and a lot of websites I, I was all doing that I didn't speak Japanese obviously so it was like kind of a challenge we got your mom's help yeah. but over the last few weeks we've been trying 30 different matches like no I think we've tried more than 50 or maybe days. more look let me just there's still I got rid of so many but like every single one of those we days. got so many over here so we reached out to at least 30 different farms on us so we have definitely farm it's not we just matcha though yeah. with all teas can I take this one to your yeah sure so actually we found the farm we're going to work with and we're launching, I think, whenever we Whenever finish. we're ready. There are a lot and of things going what's on What's it right going to be called? Oh yeah, Neko Matcha. And what does that mean? <laughs> so for people, Neko means cat in Japanese and it, it's so adorable. And there's this little mascot like that, a little cat, and it means luck. One I don't right know which arm, side is which. But it's really home. cute. So like, what is what do we do? And it's like, Neko Matcha. <laughs> okay guys, so actually a couple days ago I had some leftover matcha and I did a little experimenting and I made a vegan matcha cheesecake which was really really cool and I want to show you guys quick the recipe. I have been experimenting a little bit with this recipe and many of you guys know that I'm like trying a lot of like plant-based dishes and I wanted to make a dessert which was not too sweet because I don't personally love like very very sweet um, desserts but I do love a nice like snack or like uh, a dessert after dinner or like just something fresh. So I want to share a recipe with you guys which is a vegan matcha cheesecake with silken tofu as the base which I find absolutely delicious. I know a lot of like vegan desserts, they contain a lot of nuts and I personally found it very hard to digest. So this recipe with silken tofu, I thought was absolutely amazing. You can buy this in many of the stores. Make sure this is silken because it's often like used in desserts. And the difference between this and a normal piece of tofu is that this is the unpressed and undrained version. So it contains much more water. We're gonna start making the base and we're actually gonna bake it because it's not raw and I'm gonna use like a baking form. I will measure this for you guys. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with one and a half cup of gluten-free oats. You can also use normal oats, obviously. Then we're going to add one and a half cups of almonds. Then I'm going to add like a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. This is really just gonna bring out the flavors. I have some coconut sugar here. Okay, we're gonna add four tablespoons of sugar to make the crust a little bit sweet. Obviously, feel free always to use a little bit less. This is really depends, or more obviously, it really depends if you like sweet desserts or not really. Then I'm going to add four tablespoons of melted coconut oil. It's just easier to use melted coconut oil because obviously it just blends much nicer. And this is gonna bring everything together. There we go. So you want the crust to be very soft and sticky. So if you grab it, it needs to be able to stick together. As you can see, this is crumbling a little bit. So what you're just gonna do, you're gonna add a tiny bit of extra coconut oil. This is gonna make it like sticky all together. And then the last bit, there we go. And stop. Okay, let's check on it again. Yeah, there we go. Now it's sticky all together, so you know the crust is all ready to be made. So I have some leftover coconut oil here and I'm going to put this into the baking loaf. If you don't have a round spring, you can also use a regular baking, uh, baking loaf for cakes or breads, whatever you have. You might need to adjust a little bit the portion of the 
of the crust. Obviously, if you have a smaller one, you can always make two cakes. And if you're using a baking loaf as well, you can use a baking sheet paper as well. Obviously, if you use the round one, that is a little bit harder. Okay, we're gonna put this into, into the loaf. This is actually a very um, easy kitchen tool. I will link this down below as well. It's just easy to scrape out, especially if you are baking. If you don't wanna waste any of the dough. Now what you're gonna do, press it into a crust and then we're gonna use a little glass bowl. You can also use a glass, uh, just a normal glass and we're gonna press it out. Press in, wash your hands before you do this. <laughs> so the easiest way to do this is to press in the middle and then with the glass, we're gonna press to the sides. A beautiful crust. Um, I think the layer is about this thin and obviously on the sides, it is about like one inch and it's really up to you if you like a really thin crust or like a thick crust. I kind of like in the middle. Um, we're going to put this in an oven. The oven is on 350 Fahrenheit and we're gonna put it in there for 25 minutes to give it already this kind of crispy, crispiness. Okay, so while the crust is baking right now, we're gonna make the filling, which is always the most exciting part, obviously. So the cheesecake is gonna have a tofu base. This is the silken tofu. And as you can see, if I move it a little, it is extremely, extremely soft. Soft as silk. <laughs> so we're gonna add this to the food processor. But before that, we're gonna work with lemons. They're really gonna give this like nice flavor to, to the cheesecake. And it's a nice combination with the matcha powder as well. So we're gonna use the zest of two lemons. Mmm, smell already from fresh lemon zest is so good. And we're gonna taste this into the pie or cake as well. There we go. Second one. It is actually a very interesting way that we're making a sweet dessert with a lot of like non-sweet, <laughs> non-sweet items today. Okay, so I'm going to add two packs of silken tofu, which is one is about 300 grams. Let's just check in your country exactly how much that is. We might have a little bit extra of the filling today, but I just wanted to reuse these two packs in an easy way. Okay, we're going to add the lemon zest. I'm gonna give it some nice color as well. And obviously an, an amazing fresh taste. We're also going to squeeze the two lemons, take out the pits. You don't want those to end up in your cheesecake. Squeezing them. I actually got a really, I got a really big lemon and a very like tiny one. So I would recommend just grabbing two medium. I have a large and a small one. <laughs> Second one. This reminds me of our shot from the intro. Obviously it is a dessert and we do want to give it a little bit of sweetness. So I'm going to add four tablespoons of coconut sugar. And again, you can go more, you can go less, really up to you. There we go. To be honest, I personally like to use uh, a raw coconut sugar over the other sweeteners like stevia or the like non-natural sweeteners. I just think the flavor is better. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of arrowroot. And if you are not familiar with arrowroot, this is like a starch and it really like binds the cheesecake together. Cause we don't want it to be, we don't want it to fall apart. So then we're also going to add some vanilla extract. This is obviously gonna give it a really nice extra extra flavor and you can be pretty generous with this. We're gonna add four teaspoons and we're gonna mix everything together. Mm. Everything is pretty well mixed and it looks like really nice cream, almost like cheese. We're going to add some matcha and honestly, 
If you're not a matcha lover, it is not that the matcha taste comes out really, really strong. It's just like this tiny little hint. So I also believe you can try this out when you're not a huge matcha fan. And you can also make this recipe just without the matcha and you have like a lemon custard cheesecake. So I'm gonna add about two tablespoons. I'm using a little strainer. Ooh, this looks so pretty. And also what I really love about this, it's gonna give the cheesecake like a green, um, a green color and it's like something different, something special. Adding this. There we go. This looks amazing, you guys. You can see it's super soft and has this like fun green color. It smells amazing. So, or crust is ready in eight minutes. Obviously time this out whenever you're making a crust, wait a little bit before you're making um, the filling because this is literally a couple minutes step. Oh, there we go. Let's take the crust out. I'm gonna show you guys, it looks really nice. Golden brown, it smells good. The ends are getting a little bit of crispy and this is exactly what we want. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to add the cheesecake filling into here and then we're gonna bake it again for another 25 to 30 minutes. It depends how big you're baking. So I'm probably gonna have a little bit of leftovers, which I really don't mind. <laughs> I remember this as a kid when I was baking, I would always make two packages and one I would actually already eat um, just the dough before I would put it into the oven. You could eat this completely raw as well. There are no like eggs or something in there. And it's actually, it's actually pretty delicious, but I wouldn't eat the whole, wouldn't eat the whole thing. very carefully also with the gloves we're just gonna tap it this way the air out of the filling just like goes away and we're not gonna get any bubbles in there so we're gonna put this another i think I, this one is pretty big i'm gonna put this in for another 30 minutes and then the cheesecake will be ready Okay, so the matcha cheesecake has cooled down for about 30 minutes. It's still a little warm. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge for at least three hours so it can really like thicken, thicken up. And then it's ready to be served. Mine went in for two and a half hours. Now the most fun part is gonna be cross fingers is succeeding in this baking form, um, but we're gonna plate it. Okay, so we got the cake is ready. You can see even like the top of the match is a little bit like gold, golden brown, not burnt. I'm gonna sprinkle more matcha on it, just as a topping. I'm already doing it in here because I don't want it to go all over the crust. And make sure to buy a good quality matcha, especially if you're, they're even like special ones for cooking. Moment of truth, I'm gonna take off the crust. I'm just using a very sharp knife on the edges to make it a little bit loose. And ta-da! Here's our matcha cake. I have some cut sliced fresh lemon. Obviously you can be super creative with this. You can use red fruits, even like green fruits, like maybe like a matcha or something would be really nice. Then for an extra pop of color, I'm going to add some raspberries so i love to use different kind of like colors here so i love the green with the with the yellow of the lemons and then with the raspberries and i'm going to add a tiny bit of coconut which works really well because obviously there's some coconut milk in there matcha cheesecake it's ready Okay, now we're gonna do something that makes me very nervous. I'm gonna take the bottom layer off. If anyone has tips for this, please let me know. Okay, use a generous amount of coconut oil on the baking sheet, then it's definitely gonna be easier. Wow, 
there we go. This is amazing. I love this with my black plate as well. We're gonna cut a piece. Okay, here we go, guys. Ta-da! Your vegan matcha cheesecake is ready to be served. Let's eat! Oh, okay, this is always our favorite moment. Go for it. Ooh. Coconut water, there's a lot of coconut water. Whoa! Ooh. Now do you say cheers in Japanese? Combine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed watching foodie vlogs. Mm. And go find at Neko Matcha on Instagram. We just got the handle. And go follow me.